Hi everyone and welcome to Learning Montessori. In this video I'm going to share with you five key findings of Montessori when she was working with the children in her first school which is Casa de Bambini. Now the first key finding, children are able to make choices. One day at Casa de Bambini the teacher was late to class and the children very cleverly found their way into the classroom through a window. Then they found that the cupboard was not locked where the teacher placed all the materials at the end of the day. So they opened the cupboard and they selected their materials and they started working on them. So when the teacher arrived with Montessori and you know they walked into the classroom they were amazed to see the children had selected their own materials and they were working on it you know, with complete focus and attention. This was when Maria Montessori discovered that children were actually capable of making choices. And when you allowed them to make choices with what they wanted to work with, they actually worked with more enthusiasm. After that day, Montessori never locked her cupboards. In fact, she replaced the big cupboards with smaller attractive cupboards uh, where the children could access materials easily. She also never locked them. In addition, she also allowed the children from that day to select the materials which they wanted to work with. The second key finding of Montessori was that children loved silence and they are able to keep silent. What happened was in Casa de Bambini, one day Montessori came with a little baby, a four month old baby. When she entered the classroom, the, teach, the children all gathered around her. And Montessori pointed out the baby was, you know, asleep and was very silent. So Montessori pointed out how silent the baby was. And she jokingly asked the children if they could do the same. Surprisingly, the children all, you know, stayed silent. They became as quiet as the baby was. This was when Montessori realized that children actually could keep silent. And they actually did it. They did it because they wanted to, not because they were told to keep silent. So there was this inner desire to keep silent. With this discovery, Montessori then went on to create the silence game. Now the silence game is a very popular game played in Montessori schools even till today. So what she did was she sat the children around her in a circle. She would whisper each child's name asking the child to come to her from one end of the room. And they did that. They were sensitive enough to be able to hear their name being called out and they would come silently and even took a lot of care to make sure that they did not knock off on any furniture and made any noise. Now the children loved this game. Montessori believed that with practice, the skills that they learn, the silent skills that they learn in this game is transferable to when they were working with the materials. And Silence game helps children to develop self-confidence and also self-discipline. The third key finding of Montessori is that children are capable of learning to read much before they even learn to write. In conventional schools still today, children are first taught to write the letters of the alphabet before they are taught how to read them. Montessori discovered in Casa de Bambini that the children were in fact capable of learning to read way before they even learned to write. One day at Casa de Bambini, the children actually approached her and asked Montessori if she could teach them how to read. This surprised her. Montessori was of the opinion that children should learn to write only when they are six years old and not before that. So what she did when they requested her to teach them to read, she created these movable alphabet, letters of the alphabet and she taught them the sounds of the alphabet as well. Before long, the children were assembling the letters based on the sounds and building words. One child was even able to um, put together her own name, Sophia, and this fascinated Montessori a lot. Therefore, in Montessori classrooms, children learn to recognize the letters of the alphabet and then they learn the corresponding sounds. The next thing is they have to teach them how to build words before they even learn to write. The fourth key finding is that children are capable of teaching themselves to read. Now, once the children learn to recognize the letters of the alphabet and their sounds, then Montessori decided to see if they can read without her teaching them at all. 
So what she did was, on the blackboard, she just wrote this sentence. She wrote, if you are able to read this, give me a kiss. And she left it like that. A few days later, a little girl came up to her and gave her a kiss on the cheek. And, you know, then she realized actually the children were able to learn, teach themselves how to read. The fifth key finding of Montessori was that children are capable of being independent and self-disciplined. Now, all the children in the classroom in Casa de Bambini were from the slum area in San Lorenzo. They were neglected, unruly, um, caused a lot of problems in the neighborhood. However, after being with her in Casa de Bambini after a while, she noticed that there is a big change in these children. She, the children became very independent and became self-disciplined. She did not have to enforce this discipline in them. The children were calm, they were well-mannered, they followed rules and they helped each other. They also looked after the environment and they developed a lot of respect for themselves and for others around them. The discipline was coming from within. It was almost spontaneous discipline. They listened and behaved well because they wanted to, not because they were told to. They also developed this positive vibes, positive attitude, and they were joyful and happy. They were capable of coming to the classroom, you know, selecting the materials, working with them, and then when they finished, they would place them back in the cupboards very nicely too. She called these children the new children. It was almost as if they were reborn to become nice. All these key findings of Montessori led her to creating her methodology. I hope you've enjoyed the stories of Montessori and have learned much from them. Bye for now.